we should praise and thank the Lord because of what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Kanina, dahil sa cross, ngayon naman ay sa Kalbaryo. We know that is the place the Lord Jesus Christ laid down His life. Amen. And uh, of course, this this uh, morning I want to preach to you the message on the subject of the value of the cross. And we know that uh, perhaps the most familiar of all Christian symbols is the cross, right? Wherever we see them on buildings, books, brochures, and Bibles, we find them sometimes against walls, around necks, and they are everywhere. They are everywhere. But what do they mean? More importantly, what do they mean to you, to us? We know that historically, the cross meant death and suffering as cruel as a cruel uh, means of execution. But is that why we celebrate it today? Especially, di ba? Uh, tomorrow starts the uh, Holy Week for the world, for, for those other people. But is that why, why we embrace it this morning? We know, no, not, no, not all. No, not at all. Now, the cross means much more than that. To the one who believes the message of God has given, as given in his word, the cross has identity. It means love rather than hatred. Amen. It means joy rather than sorrow. It means uh, uh, love rather than hatred. Through the cross of Christ, God reconciled sinful men unto himself. And, you know, what a joy used to know what Jesus did at Calvary. An amazing accomplishment and one that only he could do. Now remember, the, great, uh, the cross is of great importance to us because it provides simplicity in a complex world. It supplies direction in a busy world. And it services motivation in an apathetic world. That's why the Bible says in the book, uh, uh, in, in the book and chapter that we just read, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, says, And I, brethren, when I come to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined, in verse 2, not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ, and Him crucified. Mm -hmm. I came not with excellency of speech. Apostle Paul says also, He came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, but He came with a testimony declaring what Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary. So, the cross is simplicity in a complex, complex, complex world. Now, the general thought is, does anyone believe that life is simpler now than that it was 25 years ago? Remember, we are living in a day where there is access to uh, so much information that it can easily become overwhelming. With, with the internet, we can go anywhere in the world without even leaving our chair and get information about anything. We can turn on the news anytime, day or night. And what's what happening, especially in this pandemic, you know, uh, uh, issues. But with all that, with, with all of that, the investment comes a price. <coughs> Sorry. Life 
is complex now than they it has ever been. Notice the simplicity of the cross. We know that uh, it is impossible to overestimate the values of the cross of Jesus Christ. For whether we are thinking about Christ's words from the cross, his words about the cross, uh, or the biblical doctrines of the cross, in every case, the cross is the central in Christianity. It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 says, For I delivered unto you first of all, that which also I received, sabi niya, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Good thing that uh, Apostle Paul delivered this message which he himself which he himself received it. Now, I, I, I'm, think of, I'm thinking about this former uh, persecutor of the early church. Opposers of the Gospels. Opposers of Christianity. Now becomes a person delivering the message of salvation to the person whom he opposed. So, sabi niya, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. He was the, the opposer of, of the gospel of Christ, but he received it at the time when he was confronted by the Lord on the way to Damascus. Now just imagine, uh, he was on the way to Damascus to persecute and uh, destroying every uh, gatherings made by, by the Christian faith during the time. But he could not escape the time that the Lord has confronted him. Imagine the time that uh, the Lord told him, Soul, soul, why hast thou persecuted me? And by the time uh, he realized his real identity, that he was sinners, wicked person, despite of being a, 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 a person of, sabi na natin, uh, identified as intelligent, uh, sabi na natin, uh, professional, uh, respected, and yet at the time that he was confronted by, by, by the Lord Jesus, he realized his need, he realized his sinfulness, and said, Lord, that is an acceptance of not a rejection of Christ, but that is the acceptance of trusting in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then after that, he also says, what wilt thou have me to do? Imagine, after conversion, he, then he, he was willing to do whatever the Lord wants him to do. And that's why he was mandated. He was commanded to go. The Bible says he was mandated to go. So he says, he explained that uh, which I also did receive, how that Christ died for our, not only for those who trusted, but even the author of this book, no other than a soul, became an apostle Paul, said for our, sabi niya, how that Christ died for our. He accepted that the person who died, he also died for him. Now, brethren, according to the scriptures, our message does not come from the intellect of men or from any other books, but we know that our message comes from the scriptures by which we accepted it as the word of God. Now, what could be a plainer than that. Sabi nga, Acts chapter 16, the same chapter when he was <coughs> uh, uh, in the book of Acts chapter 16, sabi nga, and they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thine house. Scriptures interpret by scriptures. The Bible presents the cross simply and with a direct and pressing demand 
for faith. Of course, we know that the greatest, <coughs> sorry, the greatest verses that I could use to you is the Roman road. Right? The Roman road. Romans 3, 3.22 says, we're talking about the Bible presents the cross simply and with a direct and pressing demand for faith. You see, no matter how complex our world becomes, our basic need remains the same. <coughs> Sorry. As it is written, ano sabi niya? There is none righteous, no, not one. Is there anyone na masasabi niya ako ay matawid? Wala akong kasalanan. Wala akong pagkakamali. It, it is com complicated to the teaching of the Word of God. Because according to Romans 3.10, nasusulat. Walang matuwid. Wala ni isa man. There is none righteous <coughs> and no not one. It also says in the same book, Romans 3.23, because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because we sin, sabi ng Bible, for the wages of sin is death. That's why uh, we become separated because of sin. And the result also of sins, na uh, sabi na po natin, ang tao ay naranasan din nila ang mamatay. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. Kaya nga, those who trusted the Lord Jesus Christ, they obtained eternal life. Uh, we know that both heaven and earth, both heaven and hell, have eternity. If you died without Christ, if you died with your religion, without having accepted Christ in your heart, you have eternity. You will be with the devil with eternal death. Mm -hmm. While if you trusted the Lord Jesus Christ, you obtained eternal life because eternal life was given to those who believed and who trusted in the, in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what Jesus did in Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God commanded His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Imagine, so in order for us to be saved, we have to call upon Him. Verse 13 in Romans chapter 10. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Meaning to say, you have to come to Him. Lord, forgive me. Lord, come into my life. I will trust you. I will accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Because that is said. You have to confess it. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt, sabi niya, with thy mouth, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So brethren, the cross is simplicity in a complex world. The cross supplies direction in a busy world. Napakaganda ng ginawa ng Pahino sa atin. Siya yung nag-provide. Siya yung nag-supply ng daan sa mundong napaka-busy. Napaka Galatians chapter 6, verse 14 says, But God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. Unto the world. There is a question. What makes us happy? Ano ba magpapasaya sa atin? What is it that excites us? What is it that drives us? What is it that we organize our life around? What makes us happy? What gives us joy? What gives us direction for living? Why? Remember that we live in a very busy world. You say, tell me something that I don't know. I won't because we all live in the same world. Now the demands on our times are greater than even ever before. The range of options available for us to spend our time 
is greater than ever before. That becomes of great concern as to us is whether we're making correct and wise choices. Remember, Christian, the Bible reminds us that we will give an account at the judgment seat of Christ. Amen? All of us, Christians, I'm talking all of us as Christians. Because, as I mentioned, from time to time that there will be judgment. There would be white on judgment for those unsaved. For those, yung bilip nila kay Christ ay isang bibig lang, wala sa puso. When they die, they will perish into eternal hell. Mapapahamak sila sa impyano kasi ang pagiging kristyano nila ay kristyano daw. Di ba? Hindi sigurado. Kaya nga pag hindi sigurado, pag tinanong mo kung, mama, kung mamatay siya, hindi rin niya sigurado kung saan siya pupunta kung sakal mamatay siya. At kung magbibigay man siya ng opinion, sasabi niya, siguro pa rin, hindi pa rin sigurado. Kasi, I, 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 I'm doing good. Wala naman ako, I, 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 uh, wala naman ako sinasaktang ibang tao. I'm always in the church. But those are the, the basis. So, tignan po natin mga kapatid. The Bible reminds us that we will give an account. For the unsaved, they will give an account. If they die without Him, ang kanina accountability, they will perish into eternal hell. Kaya be sure your sins will find you out. Both Christian and unsaved. If God find out that you have no price, that there is no blood shed in your heart, you will be cast. Itatapon ka dun sa lake of fire. And you will be tormented there forever and ever. Define the word forever. I tell you. Walang hanggang kang mananagoy sa sakit, sa hirap, sa guto, sa uhaw ng init ng impyerno. Kaya nga, ang preparation is to when hindi kung kailan patay ka na at ipapanalain ka ng mga bago sa buhay. Listen. We are reminded that we will give an account to the Christian. We will also give an account to God regarding the kind of life we live in this world. Could you find that verse? Yes. Romans 14, 12. Sabi ng Bible, So then every one of us, even the author says, So then every one of us, Sabi niya, verse 12, no? Shall give account of himself to God. Hindi ko natin matatakasan ng pakikipagtagpo ah, natin sa Panginoon. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, for we, we must all appear, sabi niya, tayong lahat ay haharap before the judgment seat of Christ. This is the seat, the judgment for the Christian that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Remember, the cross given us direction. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred hell such warm as I at the cross, at the cross. When I first saw the light and the burden of rolled away, it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the way. You know, Maring, this, we are facing difficult times. Time will come, God will all wash away all our things. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our sacrifice, our suffering. One of these days, God is going to end up all the sufferings that we are facing. All the difficulties. Mm -hmm. We don't just waste our time. We want to invest it. Amen. Huwag natin sayangin. Minsan, nakatutok ang pananaw natin sa mga bagay na panlupa lang. We never look Long. Kinakailan dapat ma ma malayo ang ating paningin. 
We don't want to just waste our money, but we invest it. We don't just waste our gifts, we invest them. Kung meron tayong time, it's now time that we serve the Lord. Kung meron tayong pera, ibigay natin yan para sa gawain ng Panginoon, sa ika, ika, ika susulong ng gawain ng Panginoon. Kung meron tayong mga gifts na pwede natin gamitin, pagamit natin yan sa atin pong Panginoon. It is the cross of Christ that gives us direction in how we invest our lives. Amen? Think of what Jesus Christ did. He left the splendor of heaven in order for us to obtain great salvation in Christ Jesus. You see? It is the cross of Christ that gives us direction in how to invest our lives. Sabi nga ng isang quotation, Only one life so soon we pass, only what's done for Christ will last. So Christian, the cross supplies direction in a busy world. And then, number last, the cross services motivation in an apathetic world. Apathy means we just don't care, right? Basta ako, ganun eh. Bahala sila. Basta ako, faithful sa Panginoon. Basta ako, naglilingkod sa Panginoon. Basta ako, ginagawa ko to. Bahala sila. Now listen, how can, how can we not care? You see, we have grown so accustomed to the message of Christ sometimes, it just doesn't seem so real to us. May I suggest that we listen closely to the message of the cross. Because we have turned a deaf ear too long. There is a, there is a Christian commercial that shows an appliance store wall that is filled with TVs. But what is being broadcast in that crucifixion of Christ? Someone stopped by to view them for a moment and asked the question is, is that all that's on? He then picks up a remote and turns all of the TVs off. The tagline of the commercial is this, haven't we turned him off long enough? Now remember, apathy is not reserved for those who do not know Christ. As, a sad, as, 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 said, as sad as it sounds, that attitude is often present in the heart and life of those who call themselves Christian. Why? Because there are Christians that their, their hearts are not moved by the cross. How do, how do we know? It is evident by their schedule. Siguro pag tinignan mo yung kanilang mga schedules, wow, napaka-busy sa maraming mga bagay. But when it comes to, parang walang, walang, walang schedule ng Panginoon pa. Wala kang schedule for this, siguro wala kang schedule for prayer time for devotion, for fellowship, for any activities that from the Lord. It is evident in their schedule. It is evident in their lifestyle. Diba? The way you dress, the way you talk, the places you go. But your lifestyle mo parang not a lifestyle of a genuine believers of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is evident on their faithfulness. Painful tayo sa napakarami mga bagay. But when it comes to God, yung faithfulness natin, lesson ba? Oh, painful tayo every Sunday. But how about in other things? So, now, this is the time that we have to examine our hearts. Are we still listening? Are, are the Holy Spirit wor still working in our, in our heart? Are we still, oh, the Holy Spirit is grieving because of this apathy. You don't care. You don't, you, you don't care what, what, what's happening to your church. We don't care what's going on in the church. 
Now listen, it is evident in their weakness because you no longer testify about what Christ did for you and for other people as they come to God. It is evident in their service. Lacking me. Di ba? Pag sinabing lacking, marami ng missing. Marami ng missing things that uh, you're doing. Ang dami mo ng advice. God bless up. Yung para makatakas lang sa mga uh, dapat mong gawin para sa Panginoon. And it is also evident in our giving. Which is actually sa pagbibigay. When you give your tithes, wala ka pagbibigay. Right? Because uh, tithes is of the Lord. Bahagi yun ang Panginoon. You have to give for the Lord. Kaya nga yung iba, uh, giving is more than the tithes. Now listen, isn't there something else on? Now, as I close, Jesus keep me near the cross. I, I, I like this song. Jesus keep me near the cross. There's, there are precious fountain, free to all a healing stream. Flows from Calvary's mountain. Yung parang, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. Till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Christian, brethren and friends, if you have never come to the cross for salvation, you have to come to Him. Because He is the only rest for your souls. Mm -hmm. God so love you that He sent Jesus for you. Jesus to die on the cross to pray for your sin. All you have to do to obtain it is accept Him into your heart. To, to, to the brethren, it is time to come back to the cross because it is the simplicity of his cross that provides direction and motivation for our lives. So all we have to do is come to him, commit ourselves because he's the only one who can help us. May the Lord God bless our hearts. Mm -hmm.